You see, the chances of getting wealthy, becoming wealthy rather, reduces as you age. If you not get money now, you will not still get money later. One bitter truth. Hard work without good results brings old age. If you are a boy and you want things to go smoothly with you, you want to make making money very fast, avoid sleeping with girls on their period. <laughs> You are using if you are using an iPhone 12 Pro Max and you don't have a land somewhere in Nigeria, my brother, failure is not too far from you. The fastest way to become wealthy is to have different sources of income. If your only source of income is just your salary. <laughs> If brigade happen, now I die no, now you go talk. They say a boy we lawyer. Now you gotta give up it. And our guy will try. Now boy is the lawyer for. If you're just joining me, my name is Desi and everybody say I'm handsome. I am not a motivational speaker. I am an update king. So I want to talk about the first business for today because I've been listening to some businesses for today. And make you not pay attention. The first business today is, especially for those who are abroad, food vending abroad. Our local food vending abroad. It's, it's, I don't know how to put it, man. Do you know, if I want to eat Nigerian food now, as I did abroad now, I spend, okay, do I they do I they buy like okra soup like this? I'll come buy pepper soup. Yeah, these two pots of soup, pot of this, it cost me like if I convert that to Nigeria money, it cost me like sixty-five thousand naira. Yes. Now I could just shop um, money, and maybe I shop in the evening, and then tomorrow I shop. It don't finish. That is how. That is how lucrative it day here. Now, if you are abroad, you mustn't know how to cook. Bring one person from Nigeria, way good. If not your sister, bring and come. You don't need to get restaurants. For here, Nigerians, for any country, Nigerians, they find Nigerian restaurants like, like who they find money. So food vending abroad is one massive business. You'll be saying, man, try. If you put body, the kind of money we go make. So look into that business. I say small, if I just, okay, if I want shop this money now, it's okay, make, make I just shop rice and stew with some beef or fish. Nigeria settings. Only just this money for now. It will cost me like twelve thousand, of of fifteen k. If I convert the money to Nigeria money, you understand? So now why you now need to go into food vending? Now lucrative business. So if you know not need to cook, you know somebody need to cook before you go start. Um, that's number one. Number two. Oh my phone don't fall. Uh huh. Okay, my number two business for the list. Now, M B M B. Hey, I don't talk this thing before, but when I know they take I'm serious. A B and B. I don't understand our application. We'll be saying man, they take the lease house for short length, for short period. Let's assume say you did Nigeria. Anyway, you did for Nigeria, anyway, you did for the world. A B and B they work there. People now they, they don't go to hotels anymore because number one. Hotel is too people they like quiet place. Number two, the way that Terry Boss Hotel, I know what, whatever they happen for hotels. Now people know they really like hotels. Today, people prefer apartment these days. So if you get small money, rent an apartment, even if not you build the house, rent an apartment. But if you get money to build the house, fine. Rent an apartment, furnish them. Just like you see this apartment like this, furnish them. Put sharp bed like this. Put them, upload them on Airbnb. You don't need to do adverts. You don't need to do anything. You go see people, call the book and one day, two days. You feel they collect 20k per night. Or 30k, depending on how the place is sharp rich. Or 50k, depending on how you touch the place. 100,000. A month, people feel you just can't collect them. 500,000, 700,000. 
You understand? I did, if I did travel, go some countries. I did pay MB and pay, maybe I did stay one week. I did spend, if I come out Niger money to Nigeria money, I, I did spend sometimes like 200,000, 250, 300,000, sometimes 400,000. If I don't pay more, I did spend like 800,000, 900,000, sometimes 1 million. So, Airbnb is very lucrative and it can help you protect your apartment. Like, let's assume say somebody can't rent your apartment um, and it break one spoon or it, one knife they miss. You could just tell MBMB, MBMB go charge the person where, where, where you stay for that apartment. You don't need to even follow the person and argue. MBMB go just collect your money for you. That's it. It's as simple as that. It's a very good business that you can start with that apartment you have. Maybe you get three, three bedroom apartments. You know, they stay one. You they used to. That one, if you furnish them, they, they rent a mat on MBMB. All you need to do is just, just provide lights, and that's it.